Welcome to Okie Tex, everybody. Got telescopes. Look at the size of that, that Dobsonian. Uh, yeah, this is an Obsession 20 that I bought just before I retired, the year 2003 or four. At any rate, I put a servo cat on it. The scope's got, it's a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, because this side has all the electronics, and this side looks clean. <laughs> It's got a servo cat down in the bottom. The altitude drive motor is down here. Uh, I have a s equipment stock I put in here. And there's a round ground board underneath the box, the rocker box. And it has uh, electrical connection through that. So it's a what's called a powered ground board. Uh, this is an F5 Obsession. Bought it used. Uh, let's see, if I pull the pin, we can probably take a look at, at the scope. Right now I have it pinned in place with this trick nail. Dave Kriege told me about that. And that keeps the scope at a given angle so that when the wind hits, it can't be blown down or blown straight up. Because when they get blown straight up, they are incredibly vulnerable to getting blown over. So the trick is to let them weather vane. And if you look down in here, you can see the azimuth motor here that runs the roller and the springs that get released with this thing here I can't I can't do it easily but once I release that then the springs pull the the capstan roller over against the round ground board and that's the servo cat version 3 there in the other corner and then this one over here controls the tension on the altitude drive and if we rotate it around you can see that that wire is wrapped around the drive cap stand. Let me get the sun on it. There you go. That's better. Okay. And this is a servo motor system. So basically, the servo is in this section, and it has a built-in encoder here that it can use to determine how many turns it's made. This is the external altitude encoder used to measure externally the angle of the telescope. There's another one down in the bottom of the rocker box that measures the amount of rotation in azimuth. Took shots of it earlier without the stalks on and that's what it looks like now. And this allows me to park the hand pad all the way up here by the eyepiece and still stay wired. Once in a while, though, it's up in the air, and I need to push the go-to button on it to get the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> the ladder is on standby. The ladder is permanently assigned to this telescope. Oh, there you go. Yeah. And then once Sky Safari is running and it's connected, we can go, we can find an object, select it, and hit go-to on this, and the scope will go to it. It's a beautiful thing. A modern miracle. <laughs> And that's about all I can think of to blather about. <laughs> oh, thank you. And what's your name again, sir? My name's Pete Ashman. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Albuquerque. Pete, Albuquerque. Remember the, the, uh, the Albuquerque Astronomical Society, TAAS. You can find us at taas.org. There you go. Thanks, Pete.